during this session I presented about virtual worlds and I spoke about many different projects but now I'd like to mention a few drawbacks, a few things that challenges that should be considered. First of all, I became aware that not all countries have the enough connectivity, enough uh, internet uh, in order to take part in these types of exercises and so we need alternatives. The other issue which always occurs is there's a very steep learning curve for anything like this and we have, people have to be willing to be frustrated and go through this learning process in order to, to take part. Now the third uh, issue I wish to talk about is the actual limitations of this type of technology. You can't have facial expressions, you're very limited. And this the type of technology I'm using isn't really progressing at the rate it's needed. So now we come to the last issue is the need for newer technologies. And we're in an in-between stage at the moment. Although there are web-based technologies being produced, they're not cheap enough for the public to be able to use. But I know we're on the verge of this big change. So basically, we really need to, to wait and adapt what we've been using. And hopefully, that there won't be too much work adapting scripts and making new simulations in the new worlds which the future will provide. Thank you very much.